Hello, Posh family. Hello, hello. Hi. Say hello to my family. <laughs> so this is a. Uh, you can introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. I'm Amo Oslo, <laughs> and I'm here with Posh family today. It's nice to meet you all. <laughs> you should tell them that you are also a YouTuber so that they can follow you up. Yes, I have a YouTube channel, Amma Oslo, and yeah, you can check me out and check the videos there. I post videos on coming to Norway as an international student, my life in Norway as a Ghanaian, and many more. Okay, so she's an international student here in Norway. She's at the university. So please follow her up at um, Ama Oslo. Yes. That is her name on YouTube. So please subscribe to our YouTube also, Posh Family, also to her YouTube. Uh, so please welcome. You can just look at uh, what she's doing for me. She's making up my hair. My hair was clumsy, so I just found her and she decided to do it an African way. <laughs> you know, the reason is, here in Europe, it's not easy to find somebody to make your hair. Not easy even to find an African salon. So sometimes when you have a friend, you just call her the way I've done to her, because I, because I know her. Actually, she has been following me up on YouTube for so many, for some years back. So when she came here to Europe, she got uh, contact with me. So I invited her to my house. You can look at some videos that I did with her. Then she did my hair. And then she has been doing it and redoing it every year. She she came this year, no, last year. Last year, yeah. But she has been doing my hair, I think, uh, twice or three times. Yeah, three or three times. So here she is, a very young student, <laughs> very young, just 20, 22 or twenty three. You, you are twenty two. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you are so young. So yes, that's true. Yeah. I just turned twenty six. Really? Yes. Oh my god, imagine I thought you were still 23. <laughs> because you know I have also a young daughter like yeah, you in Africa, true. so. I turned 26, that's still so, September. So you can see what she's doing, uh, fixing my hair. Yeah, I'm trying to touch. It's really rare. Uh, it's really rare to find somebody to make hair. I just hope that it comes out perfect. Because when I go to work, so I need to be a very smart African woman. <laughs> yes. So that's what she's doing. And I have my daughter there with her hair too. I don't know whether it will be possible for her to make it there. Elvira, can you greet my people? Yes, she's eating spaghetti. You can't tell her something, Elvira. Mm. At least you tell people to follow me up, surely. Mm. To follow us up. Eh? Okay, please, Posh family, are you kindly to subscribe to our channel? Please press on the notification bell so that you receive all videos as we post. Also, you can drop a sweet comment to us so that we get encouraged. But otherwise, just look at how my hair is going to look like at the end. What What is the name of this uh, needle you are having? It's a crochet hook. Crochet? Yes. Okay, so she's using a crochet hook. Mm -hmm. So I hope you are getting a lot of work here in, in Norway. Yes, not so much, but then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least it keeps you going, eh? Sometimes, mm -hmm. because of school, so. <laughs> yeah, of course, you have yeah. to be in school. That's the, the important thing. Yeah, sure. So, how did it go with the strike, student strike? The protest? Yeah, when you are told to pay. Yeah, the school <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> Actually, international students here in uh, Norway, they have been asked to pay, to pay fees, eh? Yeah. 
So it, has it been passed at the parliament or what is um, happening? So far the parliament has approved the budget. It has approved that you have to pay? Yes. That's really? That's what the parliamentarians have said. But then the mm. from my last update, they were supposed to make it into a law now. So that's what we were waiting for, mm. for the law to be passed. And then, yeah. So we're still waiting on that. But that would be unfair for our African students. Yeah. You see, because they are really struggling with life, eh? True. Because you can tell us something, you work as you study. Yeah. How is it possible? It's mostly difficult. And, it, um, it's difficult, eh? Yeah, it's difficult working at the same time studying, especially when you're in the master's level. You, mm. you have to work the 20 hours a week to be able to meet your expenses. And, um, mm. sorry, I always want to clear my throat. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so it takes you, you're required to work just 20 hours every week and you'd have to do that alongside studying because these are very expensive here in Norway and it gets so hard. Yeah, life is yeah. so expensive even for us who have a 100% job. Exactly. Work, I mean, and it's we, so expensive. Yeah, eh? we, we just have limited hours to work in a month. You can't work more than 20 hours a week when you are studying. Only during mm -hmm. vacations you can do that. That's like during the summer break. You can work some some more. And then adding that to your studies, going to class and meeting up with assignment deadlines, it's mm -hmm. quite difficult. So yeah. That's what we are facing. Yeah. Yes. So let's see how it goes. Yes, we are back again. So you can imagine I have to take a Panadol because uh, my, my head will hurt after she has finished uh, making the braids. So this is a Panadol I want to take to prevent that. So to keep uh, African beauty, it costs a lot. You see, I can, I'm now taking a Panadol so that I don't feel pain after. But that's how it goes. <laughs> African beauty. Yes, once more, we are finishing up my hair. Look at it. It's very beautiful. Oh, my God. So maybe I take a thumbnail. I don't know. But it looks good. Yeah, so that's how it looks. Oh, an African woman. Oh, my. So thank you very much, Ama Oslo. Please follow her up on her YouTube channel, Ama Oslo. Please, kindly. Yeah, thank you. Be tuned in.